What's up, YouTube? It's Kenny again. Uh, headed out of California. Made my drop last night. Picked up another load, and I'm headed to Texas. Uh, these roads in California are pretty bumpy, so I apologize for the jumpy camera. But I wanted to make a video today about a stock that just seems to be an unstoppable force. Okay, I've been watching this stock since it was $90 a share, and it just keeps climbing, guys. It's it's today it's uh, you know flirting around 200. It's up above and below 200 all morning. Okay. First of all, let me just say it once again: I am not a financial advisor. I am not your mama. I will not be held responsible for anything you do following me. Anything that happens, okay? Anything can happen. Hit that subscribe button, too. Like, man, I'm pumping these videos out to help you guys out. Uh, you know, I'm trying to give you all my experiences with these stocks, and, and it really helps when people hit that subscribe button and when you like the video. And uh, leave me a comment if you've had experience with this stock. So let's get into it. The stock is Enphase Energy. Ticker symbol is ENPH. All right, Enphase. Now, guys, I've been watching this stock for quite some time. All right. If I would have pumped every penny of my money into this stock since I started trading, I would have done over a hundred percent in profit. Okay. I mean, I'm telling you, this stock just feels like it will not stop. I have been on the solar train since the beginning. You know, I think that solar is going to just absolutely explode over the next five to ten years, uh, as do scientists and, and analysts. And this stock is in a unique position in the solar sector, okay? Now, I say that this stock is an unstoppable force, but I just want to uh, be clear that anything could happen. You know, the CEO of this company could go out and get caught spending all the company's money on hookers and blow tomorrow and the stock could fall to zero. Anything could happen. I don't have a crystal ball. All I know is I've been watching this stock ever since I, pretty much ever since I started trading stocks because one of the first things I did was seek out solar stocks and this is one of the ones I found okay and it just does not stop like I watched it for a long time because in the beginning it was too expensive for me you know I was buying cheaper stocks at the time and every time you know it just keep going up and I'd be like well I'm kind of waiting to try to get in on it a little lower but it just keeps going up and then I keep telling myself well surely it's going to come down it just can't keep going up and then it just keeps fucking going up and at a certain point i bought into it a couple shares you know and it just kept going up and it's kind of disconcerting to me because i'm thinking it, it just can't keep going up you know so i got up quite a bit and i sold out of it and i kept watching it and it just kept going up so, you know, I bought into it again around, I don't know what it was, somewhere around 140 or something, a few shares of it. And then at a certain point, it's still going up, and I just went ahead and up my position to uh, 10 shares in it. And at this point, I'm up about $400 to, as of today, over $400 in it, just on 10 shares, okay? Now, I want you to go look at this stock, guys. It's not exciting like the EVs and all that and SPACs and everything. Like, it's not an exciting company. But go look at the charts for this stock, guys. E-N-P-H. Go look at the charts. Look at the five-day. Look at the, the, you know, the one-month, the three-month, the five-month, the six-month, the one-year. Look, look at all of them, all right? Look at them charts. And you tell me if this stock does not look like it's unstoppable. The stock has doubled since I've been watching it, which has only been like five or six months, okay? So, let's talk about what Enphase does, all right? I'm going to say it again. I'm not a financial advisor. Anything can happen in the stock market. But uh, let's talk about what this company does and why I'm 
so bullish on it over the long term. So in phase energy makes micro inverters for solar systems, okay? So a solar panel makes DC power. Like just the wires that come off the solar system makes DC power. Your house uses AC power. So there has to be a conversion made in order for you to be able to use the power that comes off the solar systems. Every solar system has to have an inverter, all right? So in the solar uh, inverter space, there are two companies that have the vast majority of the market share in that space, okay? You have Enphase and you have Solar Edge. Ticker symbol for that one is SEDG. That one's also on my watch list. And these two companies control, I don't know what the exact number, 70 to 80% of the market share on the inverters. So they're the two main companies in that space and they control the vast majority of it. Now, the technologies are somewhat different between these two companies, all right? I'm gonna just briefly explain it, okay? The way Solar Edge's inverters work is, it's like a daisy chain. So if you think of a string of Christmas lights, okay? If one of the bulbs goes bad, all the bulbs go out, you have to go through and search and find which one and change it to get them working again, right? Well, that's how a Solar Edge system works. So basically, if if the sun shifts and a tree shades one panel on the corner, it reduces the output of all the solar panels. If one solar panel gets busted by a piece of hail or something, all the solar panels go down, okay? Now on an in-phase inverter system, they use what's called micro-inverters. So each panel has its own inverter. That way, if it's one gets shaded or damaged or whatever, the rest of them still pull out, put out the full amount of power. Okay, so that's why I like in phases technology over solar edges. It's a better technology. It is more expensive to the end user, but it is the better technology in my opinion. And uh, they're constantly trying to evolve that technology. Okay. So with that said, what what I infer from that? Well, let, let's let's go a little deeper first. Okay. So within the solar sector, okay, there's a lot of different ways that you can invest in solar. You can invest in solar panel manu manufacturers. You can invest in solar installers. You can invest in uh, companies like, like Canadian Solar that, that actually sell the power and stuff like that. And there are other ways, okay? But And then you've got these inverters and you've got parts that are used, okay? So if you think about these other ways to invest in solar, okay, if you think like just take solar panel ma manufacturers for an example, their technologies are more or less the same, okay, First Solar apparently has some other de technology, but for the most part, their technologies are the same. And basically the way what that causes is whoever is the cheapest is probably going to sell the most solar panels okay it's the same thing with solar installers whoever installs it cheaper is probably going to win and and you know it, and on and on okay so what this does is it creates an incentive for these companies to lower their prices because they're competing with each other on price okay so that lowers their profit margins if you lower the price of your product, you make less money on it, okay? Well, the difference between those ways of investing in solar and in phase versus solar edge, okay, is because it's only two companies that control the vast majority of the market share, and because their technologies are so different, it's less about competing on price, and it's more about the technologies competing against one another. Okay, so Enphase does a different thing than Solar Edge does. They're different use cases. Uh, so they're not necessarily competing on who's cheaper. They're competing on which technology works better for the end user or which technology. Uh, it's basically it's the technology that's competing instead of the price. Okay, so when you think about investing in solar, 
you don't really the the real money is not really in the companies that have to compete on price because their profit margins go down as they lower their prices. But when you've got two companies like Solar Edge and Enphase who are competing on technology, they don't have to compete on price. Enphase is more expensive than Solar Edge, but Enphase is a better technology or at least a different technology than Solar Edge. Okay? And so you've got this advantage of not having these low profit margins. And uh, I don't know, guys. I just like, I keep expecting a pullback. I keep expecting a correction. I keep expecting, you know, that this stock cannot keep flying the way it has been. But it just keeps doing it. I mean, it just keeps flying. And in my Roth IRA, I mostly just do swing trades and stuff like that. I don't really hold things long term. I do plays, you know, swing plays, recovery plays, stuff like that. But this end phase, guys, I mean, I really feel like I could double my, it could double again. I mean, it could triple. I mean, with Biden taking office and the Democrats pushing all of these solar tax credits and all this stuff that they're still pushing through and that are only going to increase, uh, Jesus Christ. Sorry, this GPS is just driving me nuts here. Uh, but with all of the, the pressure on solar to rise, and just in general, it's expected to continue to rise, I just don't see how this stock does not do phenomenal this year. And for the next several years, I mean, because the technology is so good, and in my opinion, it's better than the, the Solar Edge technology, I believe that Enphase is a really good buy, guys. And Again, I want you to go do your own research. I'm not your financial advisor, but go look at those charts. Look at every single duration of charts. And you tell me, you know, I mean, it's just, the stock is amazing, guys. It just never stops. It's up like, you know, this morning it was up as high as like 14% this morning after this uh, Georgia runoff election. And, uh, you know, you might could find, I mean, sometimes it has little small dips, you know. You might could find a better price to get in than what it is right at this moment. But, you know, I, if, you, if you're tempted to buy into it, I would just buy into it. Because, like I said, I started off looking at it at $90 and I kept waiting and waiting for a dip and waiting for a good place to get in. And it just kept going up. And it was just like there was no big dip to get in. You know, I mean, it dipped down just a little bit, but, you know, I mean, it's just every day, 3%, you know, 2%, 5%, 3%, just up, 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 up. And so go look at the stock, guys. Go look at it. The technology's good. The company's good. The, the sector is good. And I just think that it's just going to continue to expand over the next several years. And I really expect it to do really well this year. I would not be surprised to see it triple before the end of the year and, and there to be some kind of a split or something. Uh, yeah, but do your own research. I'm not your mama. Go look at it. Tell me what you think in the comments. Hit that subscribe button. Smash on it. Hit it. Like the video. Need them likes, guys. Thanks for watching.